Hey boys, welcome to Ask Games. My name is Simon. This is Crack the Code with the promos. Now I have made a video before for Crack the Code. Check out that video. That's how to set up planning view. There's also the unboxing, teaser, trailer, preview, over video as well. Now I have played this through to completion at all player accounts, but this is how to play with those promos as well. So this is a limited communication game, very much like the game Hanabi. Do check out our video for this, as well as for Hanabi, as well as Hanabi Deluxe 2, an £80 version of the game involving lovely resin blocks. So what we're going to be doing is mixing up the game. Again, if you haven't seen the video, make sure you head over there first. And what you're going to be doing is basically changing some of the rules. So if you want to understand this game and have played a game like Hanabi, this might be a good place to start. So what this is doing is basically, in addition to the rules, there's various missions, various things you can unlock. And of course, it will make sense if you've checked that out. So various things you can unlock, new boxes, new envelopes you're going to be playing with. But in this game, you're able to mix things up. And I've played this with new players, so you can go straight off the bat and do this. And what you're able to do are things such as dish out cards at random, or you can obviously pick them and draft them. In this case, you may ask a yes or no question about the contents of any terminal tray. So you have four trays out. You could be playing as a two, a three, or a four. If you're playing as a two, two other trays are going to be visible. If you're playing as a three, there's obviously going to be one tray visible and you're going to have everything else hidden. As a four, everybody else is going to obviously have their tray, see everybody else's tray because they can never view their own stuff because of balls. And I'll show you what balls look like again in a second. You can play with this card, which I said means you can say, is this there or not? And they're going to say yes. So these are going to be here, but you are going to have one of these cards in front of you, so you won't actually see what you have, and therefore everybody else is going to see, and everyone's going to have an objective, for example, to try and get four or three blues in this case on their card, or it may be those particular balls in that particular order in terms of the colours. So that's one card you could have in front of you. This one is you may state allow the colour and position of one marble visible to you. So these are good cards that help you complete your mission. You may state allow the colour and position of one marble visible. Again, there's another one of those. And of course, there is another query. So sometimes they're quite good. This is a bit harder because it's a bit more limiting. But now you have some of the harder ones. So these are like virus cards. So you have here, start a timer for 20 minutes. If you do not achieve your goal within 20 minutes, you're going to lose. For all the commands in the game, whenever you pick a marble from the terminal tray, it must already be on your side of the card. So you can see you've got these hash symbols and star symbols. It's basically when you're picking something up, it's got to match where you are, so there's extra stuff to deal with. Commands, basically you're going to be executing and interacting cards on your right hand side. So basically you're limited in what you can actually choose to do, such as take a marble, pass a marble, or maybe transfer a marble, those kind of things. During setup, leave four digital marbles in the bag, and basically you're allowing yourself to draw it. So there's only certain marbles that's going to tell you every scenario how many marbles to be playing with, and therefore dishing them out. Sometimes you can chuck out new marbles, and therefore it could be a problem. Now, these do bounce, as you can see, which are very fun rubber balls. And in fact, one of the game developers liked my video, which I do want to talk to you about more, because he helped on games such as uh, Planet Unknown and various other games. So you may play this entire game in silence until you believe you've achieved your goal sequence, at which point you may say it out loud. If you're already playing a scenario which has been played in silence, draw another malware card and point to its effect or put to its effect. And lastly of this one, draw a marble from the bag and place the end of each terminal. So sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Again, you're playing with this microwave bag box. I will make sure that this does link through to those how to set up play and review videos as well. And if you're interested in limited communication, which is a nice popular example, there aren't too many games out there that do it, and those that do seem to do it pretty well. So yeah, quite a fun game to play. Again, it's nice to have a bit more variety once you have played all the missions, it's just to give it a bit more variety, especially with the randomization, which you do get randomizations with these balls because you won't actually know what's going into your tray. You need to close your eyes when someone is dishing them out to you. But it's something else to play with, which I do find quite nice. Again, a microwavable style bag to kind of show the theme going on that of course we are working on computers. And that's quite interesting because it's got a stronghold and of course they did merge with indie balls and cards. In uh, artwork again by Wilman Brecker, who did the artwork for Terraform and Mars amongst many other games. Thanks for watching. Let me know the comments are best on YouTube. Share as well because this does get shared. And of course subscribe via the notification bell if you haven't done so. Via the description, check out very uh, kind of clarifications on rules, any errors, errata, as well as link through to the podcast, Instagram, etc. Where of course you can support the channel via Patreon too. But for now, crack the code with the promos. Back to the table.